Welcome back to the channel. Today, let's try to solve a fraction that is raised to the 16th power. Feel free to challenge yourself to find a key to solve this question within one minute. If I take a look at the denominator of this fraction, I notice I have the square root of 7, the 4th root of 7, and the 8th root of 7. So obviously, they are linked in some way, and let's try to work to simplify them. What I'm going to do is, just by isolating the fraction, I'm going to multiply the denominator and the numerator with the conjugate of this term, meaning I'm going to mul multiply both sides with the 8 root of 7 minus 1. And same thing on the numerator, I'm going to multiply that with the 8 root of 7 minus 1. If we focus on just these two components right here, we notice that they actually take the form of a plus b, a minus b. And we know that we can express that as a square minus b square. So let's go ahead and rewrite this part. I have square root of, I'm sorry, 8 root of 7 square minus 1 square, which is equal to 7 to the power of 1 over 8 square minus 1, which is equal to 7 to the power of 1 over 4 minus 1, which is essentially the same as 7 to the 4th root minus 1. Let's go ahead and substitute this into our original fraction. With this substitution, now our expression looks like this. On the numerator, I have 6 multiplied by the 8 root of 7 minus 1 over square root of 7 plus 1 multiplied by the 4th root of 7 plus 1 multiplied by the 4th root of 7 minus one, which is the new substitution that we just introduced. Now, if you take a look at these two components right here, again, we have another expression of a plus b and multiplied by a minus b. Again, we have another a square minus b square. So let's go ahead and work that out. Before I forget, let me fill out the remaining parts of this expression. I have this bracket here, plus 1, another bracket to the power of 16. Now let's focus on how to simplify this one. I have a squared minus b squared, which then becomes the square root of, I'm sorry, the fourth root of 7 squared minus 1 squared. So that can be expressed as 7 to the power of 1 quarter square minus 1 square, which is equal to the square root of 7 minus 1. That's the new substitution that we are going to use. I hope by now you can see the pattern. Let's continue with our substitution. So now our expression becomes bracket 6 multiplied by the 8 root of 7 minus 1 over square root of 7 plus 1 multiplied by the new substitution which is the square root of 7 minus 1. Don't forget the plus 1 at the back and the 16th power. So again we have another round of a plus b a minus b. Again, let's try to work this out. I have square root of 7 square minus 1 square, which is equal to 7 minus 1, which is equal to 6. So now let's try to put everything together. On the numerator, I have 6 multiplied by the 8 root of 7 minus 1 over 7 minus 1 which is essentially 6 plus 1 to the power of 16 so 6 and 6 will cancel each other I'm left with 
the 8 root of 7 minus 1 plus 1 to the power of 16. Again, minus 1 and plus 1 will cancel each other. So what I'm now left is the 8 root of 7 to the power of 16, which is equal to 7 to the power of 1 over 8 to the power of 16. Try to simplify this part right here. This becomes 7 squared, which is equal to 49. That's the final answer for today's question. I hope you can solve it within a minute, and I hope you enjoy this video. Have a good day. Goodbye.